What's going on everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about a stock that I recently found that I actually really believe in and I'm probably going to be adding to my portfolio just after doing a little bit of research. You know, still always every stock that I buy, I like to do a ton of research. But the ticker for the stock is INMD, a medical devices company in a huge market and just growing and growing and growing no matter the macro environment. So we're seeing a lot of good stuff on this company. But I do ask if you do enjoy this type of content that you subscribe to the channel and you turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. So as I previously said, the ticker is INMD in mode. And this company is based out of Israel. You know, right now they trade for $37.14. Today alone, the stock is up almost 4%. You know, they have a market cap of about $3.1 billion and a PE on Google Finance of about 18.15. Over the past five days, they're up 6.66%. Okay, very solid growth, 6.4% for the past month, and over the past six months, 61%. Now, you might think you're paying way too much for this company. You know, you might think you're buying at the top, and I'm not going to sit here and act like I have a crystal ball. That could be the case. Year to date, they're up 5.1%. In the past year, though, they are down 36%. You know, ever since they, IP, ever since they went IPO in 2019, they were $7. They went all the way up to $94 a share, and now they're 37 so let's kind of show you a few key things about INMD that I really like. Just some very important highlights, you know, PE is 17.31 with a forward P of 13.54 and a peg ratio of 0 0.52. They also have very good earnings per share growth rates from last year, the past five years, sales growth rates next year. We're seeing a lot of good things expected for this company. They have a profit margin, a net profit margin trailing 12 months of 40.9%, a target price of $50.40 from its current 37. And the only thing that kind of I took as a slight red flag, just because I don't like to invest in stocks if I'm investing for the long term, and something with a high short interest, you know, 7.59% is nothing small, but it's also not incredibly big. So that is something that I am watching for. But I want to show you a little bit about who this company is. So they sell medical devices. So in in modes innovative technologies provide superior results for your patients treatments for the face body skin and women's wellness they're targeting a large market you know, this is their website with a ton of different things just to show you a little bit in mode is a leading global provider of innovative energy-based minimally minimally and non-invasive medical solutions so this company is slightly confusing you know it's not one of those companies that you look at like a bank and you understand exactly how they make money like that you know it's something that if you want to get big returns sometimes, not all times, but sometimes you have to just kind of understand a company and if you really see numbers that you like, you have to learn how it works. So pretty much InMode has leveraged its medically accepted minimally invasive RF, which is radio frequency, technologies to offer a comprehensive line of products across several categories for plastic surgery, gynecology, dermatology, and all these other words, okay? So they're serving a large market uh, from their investor presentation, it was a little weird whenever it got on my computer. So I just took some screenshots of the most important things. Here are their third quarter of 2022 numbers, $121.2 million in revenue, leading them to $56.6 million in non-GAAP net income. I believe GAAP was like $48 million. They had 66 in non-GAAP uh, per share in earnings per cents. 85% non-GAAP gross margin. They're selling already in 80 countries. So eight patent technologies across 10 product families is really good. They have 15,000 units installed worldwide with 7,000 of them being in the U.S. They're disrupting the aesthetics industry. So it, making a huge change in markets real quick. What we'll see is usually it's in-office procedures, mainly hair removal, non-invasive laser-based procedures, very limited results that typically require multiple treatments. But for in-mode, they're seeing patients seeking new procedures with more significant and longer-lasting results, growing demand for face and body contouring, and not just laser rejuvenation or hair removal. Here's kind of their portfolio of products, you know, multiple one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looking at a lot of products, you know, we could go into that, but that's something that if you do choose to invest in this company, it's just gonna take a lot of time to understand all this stuff. But here's kind of their revenue and profit growth trends. I mean, what we're seeing is huge growth in revenue year over year. And quarterly, the only time there was a little stutter is the quarter one of 2022. But since then, we've been growing pretty well seeing very nice margins. So here's some articles that I wanted to show you. Key point, InMode is disrupting an enormous market for cosmetic surgeries and procedures with minimally invasive technology. So show you a little bit more about InMode. 
you can scoop up shares for just 17.3 times trailing earnings, showing you the kind of medical devices industry right now. The current is about 26.23 for the average, so that is undervalued per se. And then looking a little bit more, InMo develops and markets minimally invasive devices that can smooth out wrinkles and more. Low stock market valuation in a surprising because its share of the $63 billion market of cosmetic surgery is growing at incredible rates. In the first nine months of 2022, revenue soared 30% year over year. In October, it told investors it expects about 445 to 450 million in total revenue for 2022. The low end of this guided range is about 24% gain year over year and 116% gain over the past two years in revenue alone. So very good stuff that we're seeing. I want to show you another article, just some key points. Market for cosmetic surgery related procedures is worth over $63 billion annually and growing fast, gaining shares of the aesthetics market with their devices. In addition to the enormous aesthetics market, a new workstation for treating women's health issues is increasingly popular. Okay. Grandview Research recently valued it at $63 billion, expected to grow by 9.6% annually until 2030. That's huge growth. Okay, we're seeing really good things for this. We've got rapid growth in good times and bad. You know, markets are falling, and we're seeing a lot of different companies just completely fail. But right now, we're seeing good stuff for INMD, showing you a little bit more. Third quarter sales rose 29% year over year and 7% compared to the previous quarter. The stock fell though because sales growth decelerated slightly in 2022, but it is still growing. You know, it just wasn't accelerating super, super fast. But at an annualized $485 million, total revenue in InMode has only scraped the surface of the $63 billion market, and it's also expanding beyond just aesthetics. You know, at the beginning of 2022, InMode predicted $30 million in total Empower RF sales, but the company already passed that goal in the third quarter because, for example, they launched a women's health platform called Empower RF, with many of the same tools contained in the cosmetic workstations, what healthcare providers can do is they can use this to re-educate weak pelvic floor muscles, which is a pretty big demand. You know, razor and blades business model. Then we go a little bit more. They're already profitable. You know, a lot of these companies that we're seeing that you make speculative investments in are not yet profitable. But we're seeing that this company is already profitable, which is a very good sign. They're in $48.8 million in the third quarter. And an ability to fuel future growth when internally generated profits means higher interest rates won't pose too much of a challenge for in mode. And lastly, on this article, they are at a nice price with rapid growth of head. You might expect the stock to trade at a really high valuation, but shares of in mode are trading at just 17.2 times trailing earnings, which is a very good thing. You know, we're seeing good stuff for this company long term, showing you a little bit more. Uh, analysts really do like the stock. You know, sometimes it is a good thing when you see analyst price targets, sometimes it's a bad thing. But I want to give you all the information, you know, average forecast about 28.67% upside with a lot of these forecasts being semi new, you know, $44 was put in December, $40 was put in October, 60 was put in July, the end of July. So we're seeing a lot of good things for this company, showing you a little bit of a valuation score. You know, they score pretty well on valuations, financials and performance, you know, forecast really just can't really, they say they don't have enough information to break down the forecast because they don't have ROA expectations, things like that, and they don't pay a dividend. So of course, they're going to have a zero score on the dividend, but their total score is averaging about 58 while their industry average is 30. And then Chaken Analytics, which is something I pay for, you know, tells you a lot of stocks, what they think is a bullish, bearish, whatever it is. And not a lot of stocks are bullish, especially in this economy, but INMD does break that ranking, you know, because of financials, earnings, technicals, and experts. Very good stuff that I like to see. And lastly, the institutional inflow to outflow is pretty good. For the third quarter, I mean, we saw just $5 million more bought in the company. But the overall trend is people are buying the stock. So it looks very good. This is something that, as of right now, I do plan on adding in my portfolio. You know, I, of course, I want to do more research, look through more things and other stuff before I put real money into this. But thank you for stopping by the video. Thank you for making it to the end. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Check out the links down below for free stocks for free money. Get it while you can, and I will see you at the next video.